Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Klessig, and here today with uh, Bailey Tangen, and we're out actually just wrapping up, uh, looking at several of our cover crop tour locations. Uh, we're joined by a handful of farmers from Wisconsin, which was pretty awesome, and then just randomly <laughs> bumped into to Bailey, and who's studying soils and soil health at the University of Minnesota a grad program. Uh, but I guess the main reason we're here today is to kind of provide an update. So this would be uh, video three of the series about interseeding in 60-inch uh, corn. Um, so again, the history here is um, this was, uh, well, I'll tell you what, go back and look at our other videos. They'll be in the comments. Uh, we interseeded this, Sheldon Lumen did on June 11th, and then came back and rotary hoed it on June 12th. So there's two separate videos there. So we'll get back to that, but I don't know, uh, Bailey, can you tell us a little bit about some of your observations? You know, this is your First time being on this farm, first time seeing the field. Um, you know, we have some pretty awesome soils, but what, what do you notice or what, what stands out to you? Well, first off, when I we dug up this soil, we noticed that you can tell in here that there's lots of different sizes of pores. Mm -hmm. uh, there's really large macro pores and also micro pores, which is really important um, for water storage and for water movement. And then we also have really good soil texture and and structure as well if you kind of break it apart you can see that it's pretty granular and also that it has really good aggregation and that is really important for making sure that your soils are healthy and that it has healthy biology as well yeah awesome maybe i'll come up to you joe here on the camera so you can see see some of those um macro pores there and you can actually see the lighter coloring that subsoil that the earthworms are bringing up um so i'll go back here so yeah so that's um just kind of, you know, a good observation here. I have an earthworm, uh, it's a little guy, um, but again, we're really starting to see, like you said, the, the nice texture. So, um, so yeah, this, this farm was interseeded with uh, a mixture of annual ryegrass, some brassicas, and then some clovers. Um, and then we, we did catch a nice couple inch rain here last week, Thursday, and that was really helpful. So I don't know, Joe, if you wanna just kinda um, maybe show them some of the, you know, if you get in here, you can see, um, here's some of the brassicas and clovers, um, probably hard to see, but here's some of the nice annual ryegrass coming. Uh, here's the clovers down here. Can you see those, Joe? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, and here you can see in the row, there's you know, a whole bunch of them. So, um, yeah, and even uh, even if we scratch, you know, move some of the residue, we start to see some of the seedlings that are starting to hatch amongst all the, uh, the earthworm middens um, and castings as well, which is um, another really good sign. So, and here would be like an example where we have like, a, it's probably hard to see, but it's a, another one of those culverts or conduits that are taking water and air down, kind of like you were saying, Bailey, you know, mm -hmm. so. Um, yeah, so again, that's, that's some of the observations that we're seeing out here. I'm really optimistic about, this is again, 60 inch corn, about 56, 58,000 uh, actual population in row. And so really optimistic about the cow chow that this will provide for Sheldon and his uh, cow calf herd. So um, yeah, so that's the update. Uh, video three, um, we'll probably be doing, I, I shouldn't say probably, we will be doing several uh, more throughout the season. And we're planning on doing a field day probably end of July or August. Uh, we'll get that set pretty quick here. So I wanna say if you like our videos, give us a, a thumbs up. And lastly, choose to make it a great day, friends.